The Lord's way is not fair. This is the complaint of the Israelites in this Sunday's first reading. And perhaps we could understand why some people could think this way. For starters, we heard last Sunday about the landowner who paid his workers the same daily wage even if some of them work less. In this Sunday's Gospel, Jesus said a mind-blowing statement to the chief priests and elders who supposedly were strictly following God's law. And yet Jesus told them that the tax collectors and sinners are entering the kingdom of God before them. Also, remember one of the thieves who was crucified next to Jesus and who repented just before he died? Well, Jesus did tell him that today you will be with me in paradise. And so, is our Lord's way really fair then? Of course we know it is. But I think the heart of the matter is that because God's love, mercy, and compassion is boundless, it's just out of this world. And we humans, we usually cannot readily understand that. As the prophet Isaiah said, God's ways are not our ways, and God's thoughts are not our thoughts. But friends, that is the good news. Thank God that our Lord does not think and act like we do. Because boy, if the Lord has my patience, we're going to be in big trouble. It is good news because that means that there's always hope for us. And no matter how many times we lose our way because of life's difficulties, the road to God will always be open. And when that happens, you and me could certainly pray like our psalmist this Sunday. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your compassion and your love are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my frailties. Instead, in your own kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord.